Hi, my name is Adam, and I wanted to start a YouTube channel, um, and this is my first video, so please bear with me, because I actually really don't know um, what I'm doing, and I'm adjusting my head and face and picture as, uh, as I speak. So, um, I wanted to do a video about brain tumors, um, because, um, I have one and, um, and there's certain things that I wanted to share out of, um, these social media groups that I've been in. Uh, it's made me think that the questions in the comments are all pretty much the same and I can boil them down um, quite uh, hopefully quite succinctly uh, for you or um, at least in my head um, I can so but I just want to start by introducing myself um, again as I say my name is Adam and I have um, an oligodendroglioma, which is um, considered rare, um, although that's pretty much what um, people talk about. Um, I hear um, the words glioma sort of perhaps uh, way too much. Um, and glioma basically just means a mass, um, a potentially tumorous mass. Um, so, um, I did ask, is it, uh, possible that it's turned into, uh, an astrocytoma and the doctor says we don't know unless we take a biopsy and my tumor happens to be in an eloquent place. Now the word eloquent, which you may hear, um, means that it's in a part of the brain that would cause damage if they went uh, and took a sample. So they uh, won't do that in my part, but they will do uh, continuous MRI imaging. So, um, so my experience, and these are a lot of the questions and things I saw online, um, and being a pretty much 14 year, uh, veteran in the game, um, I, uh, find that the first year um now we're talking the first okay let's talk about the first year post diagnosis so you've gone through the MRI uh you've done the CT scan you've gone through the MRI you talk you talk to a you're now in the hospital talking to a neuro neurologist neurosurgeon Normally, it's a neurosurgeon. And uh, they tell you it looks like a uh, glioma. Um, it could also be another type, but normally it ends in glioma. And um, you ask what that is. I hope that you spend as long as you can with the surgeon, neurologist, who are whoever um, it may be, and ask a list of questions. I mean, make a list of questions before you go in there. Take notes, take somebody with you, and um, don't leave until that list is completely answered. So, um, so the next step is perhaps um, a biopsy. The biopsy can either be um, stereotactic or um, actually the full operation 
um, they can do a biopsy and find that uh, the tumor is well located to be resected, taken out, and they'll find out at that time uh, what type of tumor it is. Um, I chose stereotactic and, and, um, which is the small needle that they, uh, put in and they take out like a few cells and, um, determine from there what type it is. I'm glad I did that. Um, that was my choice. Uh, I'm glad I did that, uh, for various reasons. Um, and uh, found out that um, I got my diagnosis. So the next steps were, um, I was basically given a surgeon, um, handed over to a surgeon uh, who I didn't know was, uh, whether he was specialized in this type of um, glioma or not. Uh, they left me hanging for practically a year before telling me, oops, we can't uh, operate on this uh, on you because um, turns out uh, we were wrong and it's uh, it's actually in an eloquent place and we, we can't do it. Um, so that crushed my world. So I went out uh, fishing for a new, um, for somebody who could. So uh, hundreds of emails went out uh, with pictures of my MRI and um, a doctor in Boston um, basically told me that you've got one of the best surgeons in the world right downstairs um, in your hospital downstairs from your clinic so um called his secretary and he said yeah easy i've done this type of operation literally a thousand times and uh the man was of a certain age um and i i my stomach dropped uh, my heart dropped and um he said, when, when do you want to do it? And it was all so much information. I had so many questions, but he was so matter of fact that I, I was like, when can you do it? He go, he just looked at me and said, how about Tuesday? So I, I just said, uh, I, I, I was so much in shock that I said, I actually literally said, um, I'll have to think about it. Um, you idiot. Um, you've, I've already waited a year and I'll have to think about it. What? I've, I've got something better to do. Um, so, um, I went zoink and, and said, okay, uh, what time? And he said, um, my secretary will call you. And I, I got home, there was a message waiting. Um, I called back, it was about 7 p.m. And um, all, all was arranged for Tuesday, and this was Friday that I uh, called back. And um, the only reason he couldn't do it Monday is because he had prior engagements outside of the hospital. Um, shocker. So, um, now I get to what to expect in the first sort of time period after the, uh, operation. So the operation is called a craniotomy. Don't be afraid of the word. Uh, it just basically means, um, a resection or uh, opening up your head. Uh, the cranium is the skull and but it doesn't mean that they're going to take out your skull. It, can, it means that they're going to open it. Um, uh, lobotomy refers to the brain. So you're not having a lobotomy on there. It just means a cut um, or removal. I don't know. Correct me in comments. 
Um, so, um, after that, um, funny enough, I wasn't scared up until, uh, of the operation, up until the night before the operation, because I realized I would never be the same again, because there would always be this scar running down the middle of my head. Um, and I was kind of grieving, a, a life, um, knowing that I was going into a new life, if you like, if that makes any sense. Um, so, uh, there we go. Um, I cried that first night before. Um, had my craniotomy, um, and didn't know what to expect, obviously. And I, I it was an awake craniotomy. Um, it was about 12, between 12 and 14 hours. Um, and there's a funny story behind that, which I'll go into in another uh, video because this one is already 11 minutes long. I don't want to keep you too long. Um, so the first year, um, the first month, I was actually in quite a good mood. Um, the first month I didn't realize brought us to Christmas, um, which I was not in the mood for. Um, and so did Christmas, um, I basically just wasn't, I slept, um, I got up to a nice roaring fire and then slept some more, um, and, um, then for the rest of the year, um, yeah, it, it was, it was surprising how quickly I healed um, I mean, 14 years later, I'm still feel like I'm healing, but, uh, in a much different way. Um, each year is different. Um, I can tell you that much. Um, but a part of that is also growing. Um, I'm old. Let's face it. I'm older, uh, 14 years down the road. Um, a whole decade and a half has gone by, but, um, I, I, it's, it's funny. You, you get over the craniotomy a lot faster than people get over knee surgery and they suffer from knee problems for the rest of their lives. Um, just as we suffer from brain injuries, uh, rather brain tumor craniotomies um, for the rest of our lives. Um, and I have this, um, I'm gonna end here because it is my first video. So I, I want some time to, to maybe tweak some things. Um, also see if I actually get any views or comments or subscribes or likes or whatever happens on YouTube and um, and just say that um, tell you that um, every day because I depression is a big part of this every day I try and um, find a, a bit of joy just to raise my spirits a little. Um, so my thing is I love plants. I love nature. Um, I love going through YouTube and looking at stupid things. Um, I love avoiding the news. Um, so, um, I just do... Um, one thing that brings me joy at least once a day, um, something I highly recommend, um, take your naps, uh, in the afternoon, uh, whenever you do, 
um, that's part of the uh, whole craniotomy thing is a lot of us tend to get tired uh, quickly and uh, we have um, to take naps uh, often and um, whether it's a good laugh on the phone with a friend uh, just do some one thing that brings you joy even if it's just for a moment so thanks for watching and uh, they'll be um, number two in what to expect in the first 10 years of having a brain i don't know what my title was it was a, a, a stupid title um it, it was a bit too long but anyway um if you click subscribe and hit that bell button um you'll um get a notification of my next video if uh, you're interested and I promise I will be shaved by then. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.